I can see this being like a good candy that like some stuff on. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Gage. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, please. It would mean the world to me. Kayla's here. <laughs> Before we get into this video, I want to thank Jessica for sending me this card and this postcard from London, England. Who is this, Kayla? The Quang. <laughs> Just sent us a whole bunch of candy from London, England, and I don't know if this candy is exclusive to, like, Europe, but we're gonna try it and hopefully it tastes good. Let's begin. By the way, this video is a little late because he got this for his birthday. How many months ago? Two. Well, the first thing um, Kale and I are going to be trying are called Dicky. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing we're going to be trying is Dunkin' Dickies, and these are penis shaped biscuit tea things. Tea biscuits. I'm so excited the to try these. The British people even say Willy. Wow, it even has wrinkles. Those are okay. I like them because they're penis shaped. When we're filming, where am I supposed to look? <laughs> the next thing we're gonna be trying are M&M s'mores, which I'm really excited to try. I don't know, I haven't seen these in Canada, so. I'm excited to try these, yeah. I don't get it. <laughs> Do I need a lot? <laughs> Do I need a lot? Can we bite into the one and see the inside? They taste like they taste like tiny Rice Krispies that are like covered in chocolate. I'm gonna have that whole bag done. Kill it, get up. Oh, I found it! <laughs> the next thing we're gonna be trying are pear drops. To me, these look like they are gonna be sour. They're vegetarian society approved. I was, by the way, I was gonna do this video with Claire also. Cause I'm not good enough. However, Claire is now vegan and probably can't eat anything. No, different colors that are different flavors. They're not sour. Damn it, I don't like this. I like it. It reminds me of something. Wow. I think I'm not satisfied because you got me amped up. I can see this being like a good candy that like- Some stuff on? <laughs> I really like these. They're good. They're good to suck on. Thanks. The next thing we're going to be trying is clotted cream fudge. This is made in the UK apparently. And look, they have pictures of the underground. Is the underground like the tube? Is that what that is? Like, is that a station? I don't know. I don't live there. I'm going to assume so. Oh, can we please comment about our shirts? Our shirts are the exact same, basically. We didn't plan this. We've done this twice already. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is so sketchy. If that wrapper was not on it, I would not be it's eating. It's like some random box. It's a random box. What is with all this wrapping? Oh my god. Cavity? <laughs> we got cavity. These are way too sweet. Mm-mm. These are good. <coughs> What's the next surprise? So the next thing we're gonna be having is bonbons, and which French means that kit candy. <laughs> these are hand-packed bonbons, and we're gonna try these. Rhubarb and custard. This one is rhubarb and custard. This one, these ones are called jelly buttons, and these ones are called giant strawberries. Here are the giant strawberries. Mm. Tastes like strawberry. I'm not a fan of these. These taste expired. What's the expiry date? September 16th. September 16th, 2016. These expired in 2016 in September. Just when did you get these? Oh my god, the sword sold these to her. These were expired when she bought them. Can we check the other ones? I really want to try them so though. That's 18. That's 17. Next thing we're trying are the jelly buttons. <laughs> ah! They're squishy. They look like marshmallows or something. They taste like jujubes -jube covered in like Dots. I don't like these. I had such high expectations for these. They look so cute. You didn't explain what these ones are. Rhubarb and custard. Are they good teeth? No, they're clearly hard. Clearly hard. That's a little concerning. Yes, where did you get these? I don't know. I mean, they're not bad, but they're not great. Meh. Next thing we have are jelly bellies, but these are cocktail classics. For all you alcoholics out there, the green one's margarita, the peach one's peach bellini, the pink one is pomegranate cosmo, the yellow one is pina colada, the other pink one is strawberry daiquiri, and the green one with a little bit of weird green mojito. on it is mojito. I have high expectations for these. Do these actually have alcohol in them? I want to know. <laughs> They're good. These are good. The next thing we're gonna be eating are babies. Jelly babies. Oh my God, these look like those gross things we used to have as kids, like grandparents used to have. Why is it hard? Is it good? I'm out. Bad. Not bad. Definitely old school. <laughs> so the next thing we're gonna be trying is something called sheep's eyeballs. Wow. Oh, these are novelty solid milk chocolate. I got so scared. Why? They're actually eyeballs. What? That is what it looks like. These probably literally just taste like chocolate. It's chocolate. 
Yeah, it's like in a Halloween, what ghetto people buy, and they buy from Dollar Ramen in a little bag. Jess, if you watch this video, do they have Dollar Ramen in London? The thing that's a little concerning to me is I feel like these aren't popular as. I'm trying to read the expiry date. This is just a. February 2018. But why sheep eyeballs? That's what I want to know. Why not like... Does London have a lot of sheep? Lamb. Wait, is a sheep and a lamb the same thing? No? Okay. Wait, what's a baby lamb? A lamb's a baby sheep. The next things we're going to be trying are two similar things from the same company called Bonds of London. And one of them is mint humbugs. Mm. And the other ones are clotted cream fudge. So it's going to be just like the other one. Oh yeah. Okay, we're going we're gonna to get rid of that what one. What is it? That one's hard. We're going to try just the mint humbugs. Mm. <laughs> They're minty. I don't like mint though. It tastes like a haul. Oh, yes, it does. Ew. I kind of like hauls though. The next thing we'll be trying is some toffee. Oh, there's coffee. I want a toffee one. Licorice toffee. No. Mm -mm. Wow. So there's an assortment of different toffee in here. Coffee, strawberry, it doesn't say on the can. licorice. Kayla and I are both going to be trying the coffee toffee. This is going to be shocking my teeth. Tastes like a clump of caramel. I like it. Final products we will be having are both related to Oreos. And the first thing we're trying are birthday cake Oreos. And I have never seen these in Canada. Oh. These taste delicious. It's like the Dunkaroo. The oh Dunkaroo. yeah! Oh my gosh, it's like a Dunkaroo. The package says slit appears when opened. <laughs> Can we save those for after? Yep. So Jess sent Gage. Not just this. Oh. <laughs> All the entire candy slice. All of it, but Oreos, cookies, and cream pudding. It's meant to be chunky, I think. That's a big plate. Like, it, it literally tastes like an Oreo ice cream sandwich. I like it. It's all right. So, this was made in the U.S. <laughs> we don't have that here, I don't think. Oh! <gasps> what? There's a recipe for mini pudding pops on the side. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much, Jess, for sending these items to us. They were delicious. Mm -hmm. And remember, guys, at the end of the day, frown, frown, natural face. There's always a reason to smile. Cheese. Bye, guys.